Hello, all my awesome pre-algebra kids. Okay, so uh, let's talk about scientific notation today. Um, our goal is to write numbers using scientific notation. Now, you can't do that unless you know what scientific notation looks like. And so in the margin of your note-taking guide, will you please write this? Any number in scientific notation has a number in front. Now, this number in front must be between 1 and and 10 but I want to be more specific think of it like money it has to be between one dollar and nine dollars and ninety nine cents it cannot actually be ten dollars that would be too big so it has to be one dollar or larger and it has to be uh, under ten dollars okay so think of it as between one dollar and nine dollars and ninety nine cents and then you'll always see times 10 to the and then there has to be a little exponent touching the 10. Now this exponent um, is an integer, so that means it's a positive or negative whole complete number. Okay, so let's do an example together. Look at um, right here. If I wanted to write 725,000, now standard form is the normal way you would see a number, 725,000, with all the zeros. Okay, but if I wrote it in scientific notation, it would look like 7.25 times 10 to the fifth power. And here, if I had a little decimal fraction, like 6 thousandths, 0 .006, I could write it in scientific notation over here. It would be 6 times 10 to the negative third power. Okay, let's do an example together. Look at example A. It says the average distance but um, the average distance Mars is from the sun is 141,600,000 miles. Write this number in scientific notation. So the first thing I would tell you to do is write it out exactly like they gave it to us. And then grab your red pen. And I always tell people to show me the decimal with your red pen. So you would put a big decimal point at the end of the number. All right, and then grab your blue pen, and I want you to put a star anywhere in that number to form a number that would be between $1 and $9.99. So there's the, the place I would put my blue star is right here between the 1 and the 4, because this would be like $1.42 if I rounded, okay? And that's between $1 and $9.99. Now, the next part is I want you to imagine you're standing on the star like Katniss, okay, and you're about to shoot an arrow, and you want to shoot an arrow to pop the red balloon, and the red balloon is a decimal point. So I want you to notice how if you would shoot an arrow, it would go in the positive direction. That tells me the exponent is positive. And then I just have to count every digit between the star and the decimal point. So I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that's how I get a positive 8 for my exponent. So I write the number in scientific notation. 1.416 times 10 to the 8th power. So in standard form, it looked like this. But in scientific notation, it looks like this. Okay, let's do example B right here. Um, they want the diameter of a quarter ounce gold American Eagle coin is 0 .022 meters. Write this number in scientific notation. So again, in the margin, I want you to put letter B and then, you know, put 0 0.022. Now, with your red, you always start with your red, circle the decimal point like a big red balloon. And with your blue, I want you to put a star in that number to form a number between 1 dollar and nine dollars and ninety nine cents so see how I put my blue star between the two and the two that would be like two dollars and twenty cents now imagine you're standing on the star like Katniss and you're gonna shoot an arrow to pop the red balloon so notice how this time the arrow is gonna go in the negative direction on a number line so I know that my exponent is gonna be negative and then I just count every digit between the star and the decimal point I see one two digits between the star and the decimal point so that's how I get negative two for my exponent so my first number is the 2.2 times 10 to the negative 2 power so in standard form it's 0 .022 in scientific notation, it's 2.2 times 10 to the negative 2. All right, look at example 2, writing numbers in standard form. Now, my students always tell me this, this part is much, much easier. Okay, 
So they're going to give us a number in scientific notation, like 4.1 times 10 to the fourth power, and now we have to write it in standard form, the normal way we would see that number. So I always tell people, first write out the number they gave you, so 4.1 times 10 to the fourth power, and then drop the front number down, the 4.1, just drop it straight down, and with your red, I want you to circle the exponent. See that positive 4? That's telling you what to do with the decimal point. So it's telling you move the decimal four places to the right. So I'm going to circle the decimal point and I move it one, two, three, four places to the right and I put the decimal at the end of my number. Now this is kind of silly, but I want you to think of these loops as little swings, like at the park that you know the little that moms put their little kids in the swing and swing them. This first swing has the number one in it, so you can't add a zero. But these three swings right here should be empty, and then you're going to add little zeros in them. So this would um, so this would give you if you wrote it out, 41,000, because the decimal is right here. And so in scientific notation, it's here. In standard form, it's here. Okay, take a look at 7.23 times 10 to the negative 6 power. So I wrote it right here. Write letter B, and then write the number they gave us. Let the front number drop straight down, the 7.23. With your red, circle the exponent, the negative 6, and now that's telling you move the decimal 6 places back or in the negative direction. So grab the decimal point and count one, two, three, four, five, six, and put the decimal right here. Now in that first swing there was the number seven, but in all these other swings you want to put zeros in there. So this would be point zero 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 seven two three. Okay, so remember, you should try the checkpoint before you listen to my explanation. Um, so it says, write the number in scientific notation. So I wrote the number that they gave me, 3 billion, 50 million. And then with my red, I added the decimal at the end. With my blue, I placed my star to create a number between $1 and $9.99. Then I imagine that I was Katniss. I stand on the star and I shoot an arrow to pop the red balloon. So that arrow is going in the positive direction. And then I counted every digit between the star and the decimal. And I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that, in scientific notation, would be 3.05, I get it from here, times 10 to the ninth power. Take a look at number 2. I wrote the number that they gave me. With my red, I circled the decimal. With my blue, I placed a star to create that number between $1 and $9.99. Then I imagine I'm standing on the star and I shoot an arrow to pop the red balloon. This time my arrow is going in the negative direction. And then I counted one, two, three, four, five numbers between the star and the decimal. So that gave me 8.2 times 10 to the negative fifth power. All right, take a look at number three, writing the number in standard form. So they gave it to us in scientific notation. So I, I dropped the front number down, the 6.53, and then circle that positive 7 exponent, and that tells you move the decimal seven places to the right. So I grabbed the decimal, and I moved it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and I put the decimal here. Now the first swing had a 5, the second swing had a 3, but these other empty swings have little zeros in them. So when I wrote it out in standard form, it would be 65,300,000. And I do expect you to put commas in these large whole numbers. Remember, if you don't know how to place a comma, start at the decimal and count one, two, three back, put a comma. One, two, three back, put a comma. All right, take a look at number four. Um, I dropped the front number down, 9.2, and then I looked at the exponent. It's negative four. So I grabbed my decimal and I moved it four places back and I added three zeros right there in those empty swings, so that would give me point zero 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 nine two. All right, now in example three, they're going to put this all together. They want you to order numbers using scientific notation from least to greatest. Now, um, your book gives you an excellent way to do that. The first thing you want to do is write 
every number in scientific notation. So see this uh, 520,000? I had to write that in scientific notation. So I did it right here, 5.2 times 10 to the fifth power. Now the next thing you do is order numbers with different powers of 10. So um, because I know that 10 to the fourth power has to be smaller than 10 to the fifth power, then I know that 7.5 times 10 to the fourth power has to be smaller than 5.3 times 10 to the fifth power. And 7.5 times 10 to the fourth power has to be smaller than 5.2 times 10 to the fifth power. And then, so the first thing you want to do is use the powers to help you order them. And then you want to use the numbers with the same power of 10, um, so look at the front numbers, the number between $1 and $9.99 to finish it up. So because I know 5.2 is smaller than 5.3, 5.2 to the fifth power has to be smaller than 5.3 to the fifth power. So then I could just finish it up and put them all in order. 7.5 times 10 to the fourth power is the smallest, and then 5.2 times 10 to the fifth power is the next number, and the largest number is 5.3 times 10 to the fifth power. Okay, so let's order these numbers from least to greatest. So see the 23,000, write it in scientific notation. That would be 2.3 times 10 to the fourth power. And now compare the powers of 10. I see 10 to the fourth, 10 to the third, and 10 to the fourth. Well, I know 10 to the third is the smallest, so I'm going to write that first. 3.4 times 10 to the third power. And now I just have to compare these numbers. Because their powers of 10 are the same, just look at the front number. And you should know that 2.2 is smaller than 2.3. So 2.2 times 10 to the fourth would be second, and 2.3 times 10 to the fourth would be the biggest number. Or you could put it back into uh, standard form 23,000. Sorry, I'm laughing because my puppy Fiona is going crazy. She's trying to get my attention. Okay, take a look at number six. Um, I see. 4.5 times 10 to the negative fourth power. I change this to scientific notation, 4.7 times 10 to the negative fifth power, and then 4.8 times 10 to the negative fifth power. So remember, look at all the powers of 10. And so um, in this case, 10 to the negative fifth power is smaller than 10 to the negative fourth power. So I'm going to have to decide who's the smallest from these two. Well, 4.7 is smaller than 4.8, so I know that this is the smallest number. So 4.7 times 10 to the negative fifth is the smallest, or you could put it back in standard form. And then 4.8 times 10 to the negative fifth would come next. And then the biggest number in the group is 4.5 times 10 to the negative fourth power. Okay, now this is really cool, um, multiplying numbers in scientific notation. So we can take really, really large numbers or really, really small numbers and multiply them very quickly using scientific notation. Take a look at example four. The volume of one mole of oxygen atoms is about 1.736 times 10 to the negative fifth cubic meters. Find the volume of 1.5 times 10 to the fourth moles of oxygen atoms. So the total volume would be the volume of one mole times the number of moles. So I took the 1.736 times 10 to the negative fifth times 1.5 times 10 to the fourth power. So the first thing I tell people to do is multiply the front numbers only. And I did that over here. You need to do this in the margin of your paper, okay, of your note taking guide. And I got 2.604. Then watch what happens. I took the power of 10, 10 to the negative fifth power, and I brought down the other power, 10 to the fourth power. And I used what I know about when the bases match, I copied the base. And then we just add the exponents, so negative 5 plus 4. So this gave me 2.604 times 10 to the negative first power, and I'm done. Okay, so remember, I want you to find the product, and you should try the checkpoint before you hear my explanation, okay? But notice the directions. Write your final answer in scientific notation. All right, so um, we're multiplying 2.5 times 10 to the third power times 2 times 10 to the fifth power. We'll first grab the front numbers. So I did 2.5 times 2, and that gave me 5. And then grab the powers of 10. So I wrote 10 to the third times 10 to the fifth. 
And remember, when the bases match, copy the base, and then just add the powers, 3 plus 5. So this gave me 5 times 10 to the 8th power. And you can box your answer. It's in scientific notation. All right, take a look at number 8. 1.5 times 10 to the negative 2 power times 4 times 10 to the negative 4th power. So grab the front numbers only. So I did 1.5 times 4, and that gave me 6. And then grab the powers of 10. 10 to the negative 2 times 10 to the negative 4. So when the bases match, copy the base, and then just add the powers, negative 2 plus negative 4. So that gave me a final answer of 6 times 10 to the negative 6th power.